All right, the nozzle just failed again. There was another clog in there, so I didn't finish out. A little disappointed because this, uh, it was printing still, but there was nothing to show for it. This is all it was, and I wonder where the rest of the stuff went. So I think I want to make a change. So let's go ahead and change the nozzle. I just got something new. Yes, you, I'm talking about you. You're going to go gone, you gone, you gone. All right, just got my new Micro Swift's um, nozzle, all right? It's the whole unit itself, and I got a kit here. So I ended up buying one of these, but unfortunately, they gave you the free one. I shouldn't have bought it, but I just bought it because I didn't know, I didn't think it was going to be included with it. So the kit, this is pretty much what you get on this side right here. You get the screws, the actual, um, this is to mount the new nozzle if you want. And then I got a uh, 0 0.2 um, also too. Besides the four included with it, you I bought a two, a 0 0.2, because it's so easy to just take it off. And of course, before you take it off, you gotta remove the actual um, uh, silicone cover. All right, so let's see without re ripping it. Here it goes. Um, pretty much, you're supposed to just, it's, 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 it, to tie it up, it's simple, it snaps in, but to take it off, look at this, that's it, that's pretty much it, all right, taking it off, look at that, simple it is, this is a 4 point, uh, 0 0.4, and then to put it back on, look at that, it's going to snap, watch, see, it won't go through no more, it just twists it, this is, gives you enough torque to actually um, close it up and, and loosen it up, that's pretty much what you do on this one, and these um, are simple to replace, right, now, one important thing, um, you got to remove the existing fan from the your unit that you have and add it in here, they do sell the whole kit together, but I didn't need that, and of course, this nozzle is a lot longer, and they have different performances nozzles, all right? They have one for uh, fast printing and high temperatures and so forth. But I end up getting the normal. I don't really do anything fancy with the other than print the figures and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I don't print any carbon fiber, which my, I have the PS1, uh, which uh, it's not carbon fiber. Um, so I don't really overheat it too much. And so I did get the, the nozzle for the 0 0.2 because I want to be able to print some details, more details on it. So this one, like I said, the silicone, you could replace it too. All right. But I would just, you know, keep it, you know, nice and pristine if you, as much as possible. And then I ended up buying an extra one just in case I need it or I lose one, you know, so, or you could always print them out too. Uh, that's another thing. I just got a little lazy. I was like, I don't want, you know, something to go wrong. So we're going to replace it and test it out. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. We made the changes. Here's the old one right here. All right. The old one's right here. Um, save the screws from the fan in case you ever have to go back or some emergency. Don't, don't lose these. They always have, like, great stuff to build. And always save your screws. All right. So we're going to save these. And then we're going to start doing a um, leveling it there's a couple things you got to do make sure you do uh, again level and do the whole shenanigans about setting up the bed leveling and all that stuff go through the whole process it takes a long time and then we're going to do a test press uh, test bench print first in white but right now it's doing updates so I'm going to wait for the updates so far it's pretty good So we're gonna see how it goes. I left the top off like it was recommended. Um, but we're gonna see if everything's working well. Let's just see some mud in there. So but that's just the top right now, the first layer. I forgot, I was expecting something a little bit bigger, but look at this. I'll take this off. Yes, I'm touching the plate. For those that don't like it, too bad. So, ugh. Let's see. Ooh, let's take it a look closer. Okay, I'm outdoors right now, but look at this beautiful. Actually, really good. I'm very impressed with it. Jeez. Oh, look at that. It's not bad. Look at no. Well, a couple street, but look at this. Either. Oh. All right, check this out, man. I'm going to show you 
how well it printed with the new print head with the new nozzle if you guys can see that it's really clear uh, the bolt look at uh, I didn't think it was gonna print really good but that, that's small and it's really petite it fits in my whole palm of my hand so level of detail is like a 0.2 nozzle pretty much I wonder how the 0.2 nozzle is gonna work now I'm very impressed with the 4 this is 0.4 so very impressive that all of it came out legible all the stuff you can see it all the degrees different degrees on it all in one so all the tests came out flawless so if you guys are looking i'm going to show you some more testing i did all right i've been printing 24 7 since i got this new nozzle i wanted to make sure it runs pretty good so that's why i ended up um, printing some more stuff let me show you what else i printed all right, so I printed the moon, and I'm gonna show you guys how how good details it, it did. Look how well it does. And this is, I'm putting an LED light so you guys can see. It did pretty good details, even on the top. On the top, you can see it perfect. And this is the moon, but I'm not done yet. Let me show you some more. Another planet, Jupiter, here. You guys can see that. Look, you can even see the level of detail where the cradle is at, right there. Awesome. Let me show you Earth. I think this is the most impressive one that came out because you can't even see the line on it. You can see it right there, just a couple of them, but this is Earth. And very impressed with the actual print. So you can even see some islands that it has, small little tiny islands, but this is the United States, this is right there. <laughs> so very impressive with the actual nozzle. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.